All right, what's up, everybody? Um, I was asked to do a, uh, a review of uh, the new Martin D35 Seth Avid. Uh, so here it is, basically, in a nutshell, without getting too much into the specs. Um, you know, it's essentially a D35 body, uh, three piece back, uh, with a Koa, Koa center wedge in the guitar, which is really shiny and reflecting my screen. <laughs> Um, nice, you have a strap button here, uh, already installed from Martin, so you can put a strap on there. Um, they use a high-altitude Swiss spruce top on there with a standard black pick guard, almost like a D35. Um, one notable thing is the top is, is very, very blonde in comparison to your standard Sitka spruce. Um, this is Martin HD35. Um, you can see the difference. This guitar here is is only about a year and a half old where the new Seth David that I bought is probably about a month and a half old um, so this one I've done a ton of uh, YouTube covers on um, these are my two guitars so Martin HD 35 and my right hand and left hand I have the Seth David um, so big difference in tone between the two you know, I was debating for a while to spend the money on um, the Seth David uh, just because I didn't want to get a guitar that was really similar to what I already have. <clears throat> um, so they are actually quite different. Uh, they sound a, a whole lot different. Um, other than that, a little bit of differences. Uh, the tuning pegs on here are vintage style. Um, open back tuners, which are nice. Grovers, they, they stay in tune really well. Um, you get a pickup system in, in here loaded. Um, it's the Martin pickup. I've installed a ton of those pickups in uh, guitars. I work on guitars in a music store for a living, so um, I've also installed one of those in my HD35. Um, just I don't play out too too often, and I don't plug in all that much. But when when you do, the Martin thin line is a really natural reproduction plugged in of the guitar, and that's actually they call it a natural. Uh, two, actually the Martin. It's it's basically Fishman. The circuit board on it says Fishman on it, um, but it's licensed through Fishman to Martin. So uh, basically, you can't buy it from Fishman. You can buy it through you know Martin retailers and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, down to the guitar. <clears throat> um, give you a little comparison. Other than the the copper inlays, they're cool. Um, you know after. I usually change my strings every month and a half, two months. Um, I use Martin Lifespan SP uh, medium gauge strings on both of my guitars. They have the same strings. These are kind of just over a month old. The ones on the HD35 are like a week old, so they're a little fresher in sound when I start doing a little sound comparison here. Um, but the guitars are both, I, I love both of my guitars. Um, it's hard for me really to pick a favorite between the two because I love them both. Um, you know, I like this one with the wide. It has a wider nut, one and three quarter, versus the HD thirty five right here that has uh, one and eleven sixteenths. But I'll play a little progression on this guitar and let you hear the the tone differences. <laughs> It's a really good sustain. It's still going. Um, <clears throat> one thing, this one is much brighter in tone than the HD35 that you're about to hear. So I'll play the same riff. <laughs>
they they do have their similarities because they're thirty fives, but they this one is a lot boomier. It, it's, it's typical with a Martin boomy sound, where the other one is much brighter, much crisp. I feel like the other guitar may be a little bit louder. Um, this guitar, when when you seem to play it soft and when you seem to play it loud, there's not a whole lot of difference in in volume there. It's really it's just kind of consistent across the board kind of like a lot of the Gibsons that I've played have that same feature you can play it soft or hard there's not a whole lot of difference in volume there where the mark this uh, Seth Avid Really, there's nothing bad that I could that I could say about the guitar. It came from Martin, really, really nice. I, um, I ended up getting this guitar from Sweetwater, actually. Um, not a big fan of musician's friend at all. So uh, I work in a music store. I get a lot of my stuff up naturally through, through there. I don't really order anything, but um, certain guitars, um, high-end guitars are sometimes better incentives to get them elsewhere. But um, Sweetwater is great. Um, that's where I got mine. A little, I left the uh, written review on there if anybody wants to go on there and, and read that. Um, um, other than that, the case that this guitar comes with, you can kind of see it right here. Um, it has Martin Custom Shop stitched right here in the corner. It's really nice. Um, I call the case more of a fortress because it's really heavy. Um, it comes with a quilt, kind of like a lot of Gibson guitars come with this little silk like quilt with martin custom shop stitched in the corner it kind of matches the case and it sits over the guitar um it's real nice you know it protects the guitar um, the standard cases that come with your d28s and d35s down here just the, the hard plastic molded cases they work great they're a lot lighter it's it's more easy to carry those um you know i, I bring my guitars with me a lot so this one is easily half as heavy as the other one. It's half, you know, one and a half times heavier. Um, but you know, it's it's nice. It sits nice. The handle's padded, so it it feels nice in your hand. But obviously, it's heavier. Um, plugged in, this guitar really uh, it sounds good. It it really the pickup reproduces the natural tone. It's it's loud. It's crisp. Um, it just sounds good. It handles a capo really well. Um, no matter where you go up and down the neck, you get good intonation. When you play chords, there's... So you get a good tone, really, out of the guitar. You play an Avid Brothers riff. So it'll handle everything really good. I wish I could finger pick on the guitar and show you what it sounds like finger picked. Um, really can't do that, but um, it, it sounds good. Really, uh, every every everywhere you go. Tone. Um, 
really it's awesome I, like I said I love both my guitars um, it's real, they complement each other nice if I want a more mellow guitar with a deeper sound I get the HD35 um, this guitar you know if you listen to the new Avery Brothers album Magpie and the Dandelion basically you get you get those sounds in a nutshell um, you know it, it sounds identical to to what Seth was recording on the album there um, it just So you, you really get those sounds, um, you know, for Avid stuff. If you want to sound like the Avid Brothers, really, it'll, it'll nail it for you. If you don't play the Avid Brothers, it's a good overall guitar. You can play any any kind of music with it. Uh, you can perform live. It looks cool. The the, uh, the copper inlays look a lot cooler in person, I think, than what the internet really does justice for them. Um, it's overall a, a really cool-looking guitar. Um I don't know what else I can really say about it. The back and the sides are great. The way that they match the the wood, you know, they book match it pretty well. Like it looks like it just is one continuous piece of wood. Um, I'm real happy with the guitar. It's a guitar that I'll never sell. I'll keep it forever um, and and play it. You know, I'll play one last riff on this guitar and then I'll play the same thing on the HD35 and. And that's it. Anybody has any questions or anything, feel free to comment. Um... to the HD 35 and I'll just play a real quick pass on there. <laughs>
basically when I bought this guitar, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so, um, it's the model before the uh, Seth Avent model came out. Um, <clears throat> of course, I knew that the Avent brothers used this, this guitar a lot. And uh, so I bought one of those, basically. There's not a whole lot of reviews on the HD35 out there, but it, it is by far a lot better of a guitar than the standard D35. I've, I've played all of those. I owned a D28. Um, I got rid of that, basically used that money uh, to help buy this guitar. And, and then um, I had a Breed Love, which I ended up selling that. It was a great guitar. Um, and I used that money to help buy the, uh, the Seth Avid model, uh, which is awesome. Another cool thing about this guitar, real quick before I wrap this up, is uh, I didn't realize when I registered the guitar at Martin Guitar, I guess uh, they send you out, um, instead of just the standard little tiny paper card that says that it's your guitar registered to you, they sent me out a whole custom shop book. It's, it was like 30 pages and it's a hardcover book and on the front in Sharpie it has uh, Seth Avitt's uh, signature. And in there it has a bunch of the personal photos from when he visited the factory and um, there's some videos on YouTube about that uh, factory visit when he was talking about designing this guitar with Martin. Um, so there's some private videos in there, with, or uh, not videos, but pictures in there, which I, I thought was cool. I didn't expect it. Um, but it's a cool collector's piece to go with the guitar. <clears throat> Just figured I'd mention that. Um, I, again, I wrote that in the review um, on Sweetwater. But overall, great guitar, no matter where you go up and down the neck, um, it's easy to play. Uh, holds tune great with the tuners, sounds good plugged in. You know, if you want a guitar that sounds a lot like the Avett Brothers on their most recent album, this guitar will do that for you. Thanks for watching.